In today's video, I'll be revealing my best prompts to generate the highest quality blog post images, and I'll also be revealing the best model that I use to generate the highest quality images. So let's go ahead and get started. I've tested out a bunch of AI image generation tools, and I prefer to use one specific model. Now that model is called stability.ai. I've used Midjourney and I've used um, Dolly 3, but I think that we can get much more higher quality and more photorealistic images that look like actual images that go well with blog posts. Um, when using Stability AI. So Stability AI is a model. A lot of those AI tools that generate images, they use Stability AI. So you can get a free trial for Stability AI. Um, I think it's about $10 per month for the most affordable plan. But once you sign up for a free trial, it's very, very easy to use like most other AI models. So all you have to do is enter in your prompt and then you'll be able to enter in your image. Now, before actually um, getting your prompt, we need to create a good prompt for image generation. So the way that I did that, I, I did that by using Claude. I used a prompt generator and I generated this prompt in which you can use. I will be updating this prompt onto my SEO prompt. So if you want to I use these prompts for yourself, you can use it. But here is the prompt as it goes. You're tasked with creating a detailed high quality image for photorealistic images to accompany a blog post. These prompts should result in images that look like real life professional photographs when generated by AI. So first carefully read and analyze the following blog post content, blah, blah, blah. So then you can actually go ahead and paste in the blog post content within this section here. And after reading the content, do a couple of things, blah, 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 and create an image. So as we can see here, I all I have to do is enter in my prompt um, or enter my blog post content within this section here, click run, and then I'll get my image prompts on the right hand side here. So for example, let's say I wanted to copy over this last image prompt. I can simply copy that over, head back over to stability.ai, and these are the images in which I got back. So just paste in the prompt and you can get back the images. So as you can see, this is a pretty high quality image in my opinion. Um, obviously, there is some spelling errors within the um, image, but overall, I think the quality of the image is really good. This is also another image that we generated. Again, from a quick glance, you don't really see the imperfections, but if you look close, you can see that these, these two faces are a little bit closer. The legs a little bit weird, but other than that, everything else looks fairly good. Also, we are still running our giveaway. All you have to do is leave a comment on this video and you'll automatically be entered into um, the draw to win a free access to my school community, which also gets you access to my AI writing mastery course. All you have to do is leave a comment below. And this is one of the best images that we generated. Um, this looks really, really good. It looks very real. Um, it does look a little AI generated because of, I guess, like how the contrast of the image, but I think that this is a solid image that you can use within a blog post. It doesn't really scream AI, and to most people, they would actually think that this is um, a normal image. So all you have to do is just, again, copy over the prompt and paste it into the uh, chat box here, and then it will generate an image for you. And while that's generating, you can also generate audio, you can generate 3D images and videos as well when using stability.ai. This was an example of a video in which I generated. I think it's okay. Um, I don't think it's nearly as good right now to use it within your blog post, but down the line, it'll be cool when you can actually go ahead and do so. So here's a visa application. And as we know, with most models, it's not the best when it comes to, um, to text. So what I would do is, if you wanna avoid this, you can simply enter a prompt within the prompt that tells it um, to not include any text on the images. And then usually you wouldn't have this problem. But overall, I think it's really high quality, it's a good image, and you can definitely go ahead and use this within your um, articles. So I'll show you guys quickly how this works. All you have to do is go over to your website. Again, let's go ahead and copy over a blog here. You don't have to copy over the whole blog, you can copy over as much as you like. All right, so we're gonna copy this over, and then we're gonna head back over to Anthropic. Again, you can use this prompt anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you guys how it would look. So first, you wanna copy over the full prompt, right? Then we're gonna enter it within this section here. So let's say, for example, we didn't use this, um, if you're using this on a different AI tool, you don't actually have to go ahead and put anything in here, right? So what I can do is I can now enter the blog post beneath the prompt and just say, here is the blog post. And then again, we're gonna click run. 
So if you're using another tool, you wouldn't have to do so. Um, but if you are using this specific prompt, then you would have to enter it within the blog post content section, which actually makes it pretty easy to do. So again, once it's finished, we can copy over that image, head back over to stable diffusion, and we're going to paste that in here. And these are the images in which we get back again, some imperfections within the text, but those are some things in which we can edit out. And here's another image in which I generated and I told it not to include any text on the images. And like, this is really good that this looks like a stock image. Of course, a little imperfection in the back, we can always crop that out, but this is really, really awesome. These images look very, very real. And you can definitely post that uh, on a blog post and make it look very, very professional. So that is the prompt and the platform or the model which I would use to create the best blog post images um, for your blog posts. You can use it to create blog post cover images. You can use it to create blog post images within your actual text for social media content, whatever you may like. I really, really like this model because I find that we can get the most realistic images. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Take care.